y'all. Welcome to fourth grade, chapter 12, lesson one. We're going to go ahead and get started. Um, so it wants to know which customary unit we would use to measure each one. Well, the weight of a table, ounces is to measure small things. Um, uh, pounds would be to measure something like the weight of a table. Okay. All right, the length of a semi-truck. Okay. Well, inches are small, feet are longer, okay? Yards are even longer, and a mile is the longest one of them, okay? So, we would think probably yards, okay? The amount of liquid about to hold. Well, I wouldn't measure that in ounces because that's super small. Uh, I wouldn't measure it in cups because that's not very big either, but a gallon would be just about right, okay? So, what would we use to measure the mass of a grasshopper? So, a mass is how much it weighs, okay? So, a grasshopper, a kilogram is pretty big. So, there's a gram and then a kilogram is bigger. Milliliters tiny, liters like normal. Centimeters tiny, meters almost like a yardstick, um, and kilometers giant. Um, so, mass of a grasshopper, I would go with grams. Okay. Now, the amount of liquid a water bottle holds. Okay. Well, I, milliliters super tiny, so I would go with liters. Okay. I want you guys to do seven and eight, okay? So we're going to circle the math, uh, oh, we're gonna circle the better estimate, okay? So the mass of a chicken egg, okay? Well, a chicken egg's not very heavy, so would that be grams or kilograms? Well, kilograms is like pounds, um, so I would go with grams, okay? Length of a car, is that miles or feet? You guys do that one. Amount of liquid a drinking glass holds, ounces or quarts, okay? Um, you guys go ahead and do those ones, okay? It's super easy. You're just going to circle the one that fits better, okay? We're going to go down, and a camera has a length of blank than one centimeter. So a centimeter is pretty tiny, okay? So a camera is probably going to have more, okay? Okay, a bowling ball weighs blank than one pound. More than one pound or less than one pound? Still going to be more, guys. Okay. Okay. What is a better estimate for the mass of a textbook? A gram or a kilogram? Well, remember, kilograms are like pounds. So, probably one kilogram. Okay. What is the better estimate for the height of a desk? A meter, which is like a yardstick, or a kilometer, which is pretty big? Probably a meter. Okay? All right, guys, we're going to flip it over to the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always. Okay, and then we're going to go down and do a full review. It says Bart practices his trumpet one and a quarter hours each day. How many hours will he practice in six days? Okay, well, first, I'm going to turn one and a quarter. I'm going to do dead man, and I'm going to turn that into an improper fraction. Okay, so we affectionately call it dead man because when you do this, it kind of looks like a dead man. Nothing sinister. Okay, so four times one is four plus one is five. And I keep my denominator. And then we're going to multiply that by six days. Okay, well, 6 is the same as 6 over 1. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and cross cancel anything that I can. Well, 4, 2 and, or sorry, 4 and 6, 2 goes into both of those. So, 2 goes into 4, 2 times, 2 goes into 6, 3 times. So now, I don't see anything else that I can cancel. So, 5 times 3 is 15, 2 times 1 is 2. Now, if you need to go ahead and do the math out to do this, you absolutely can. There's nothing wrong with that. 
I'm going to go, I know that 2 goes into 15 seven times because that's 14. 15 minus that 14 would be 1. And I keep my denominator. And we're being measuring in hours. Okay? All right. Millie collected 100 stamps from different countries. 32 of the stamps are from countries in Africa. Sorry, guys. Um, what is 32 over 100 written as a decimal? Well, all that means, guys, is that the 2 needs to be in the hundredth place. Well, tens, hundredths. You got it. We're done. Okay. Deirdre drew a quadrilateral with four right angles and opposite sides of the same length. What kind of polygon did Deirdre draw? Well, she could have drawn a square and she could have drawn a rectangle, y'all. So, square or rectangle. You can pick either one of those and go ahead and do it. Okay, how many degrees are in an angle that turns half of a circle? Well, you know that a whole circle is 360. So if you need to, you can absolutely divide that by two because we're cutting it in half. Or after last lesson, you guys probably know that half of a circle is 180 degrees. Okay. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 12.1. Come on back for 12.2 soon.